everyone is mesmerized by Lu Sheng's power and knowledge, on one hand. The Hongchan Martial Arts School hopes to recruit him as their flagship member, while Zin Shantang seeks his collaboration for a new tonic. However, Lu Sheng's primary concern is changing the fate of the world and becoming stronger to defend it. Welcome back on an epic journey, as we unravel the remarkable tale of Lu Sheng, a beacon of hope born in poverty, wielding the divine gift of strength to defy destiny and safeguard humanity from its impending reckoning. In the previous chapter, Lu Sheng's experience at the Baihe City Martial Artists Association was marked by astonishment and anticipation. He confidently faced the examination process and exceeded all expectations with his remarkable blood value and combat power index, leaving the room in shock and disbelief. As he departed from the examination hall, his future as a formidable martial artist appeared promising, filled with boundless potential and opportunities. All right folks, let's set our sights high today, our goal is 600 likes. Hit that like button and subscribe right now. Lu Sheng was taken aback when he exited the building and unexpectedly encountered his sister along with two other girls. He had not anticipated running into them at the Martial Arts Association, and even his sister was visibly shocked to see him there, given his reputation for skipping classes and has a low blood standard of 0.68. As Lu Sheng greeted them, the two girls introduced themselves as Feng Fan Fan and Shu Nuo, Lu Qing's school friends. They explained that they were waiting for their older sister Yang, who was undergoing a level 1 assessment. Lu Qing's friends were flustered but impressed by Lu Sheng's remarkable abilities and handsome appearance, which contradicted Lu Qing's previous descriptions of him. They expressed their admiration for Lu Sheng and he graciously accepted their compliments and thanked them before parting ways. Only a few minutes after Lu Sheng left, they saw sister Yang emerging from the assessment building. After greeting a beautiful girl with a purple headband named Yang Yuan, Lu Qing eagerly inquired about her assessment results. Yang Yuan, admired for her exceptional abilities, revealed that the assessment had been suspended due to an unforeseen circumstance involving a remarkable individual. Describing this individual as a monster and an evildoer, Yang Yuan recounted his astonishing blood standard of 15.7 and combat power exceeding 15,700. Her revelation left Lu Qing and his friends in disbelief, struggling to comprehend the existence of such extraordinary talent. When Feng Fanfan inquired about the person's name, Yang Yuan revealed it to be Lu Sheng. Upon hearing this, Lu Qing and Shu Nuo exchanged a knowing glance, realizing the significance of the name. With dawning realization, they realized that Lu Sheng was Lu Qing's brother and had just walked out of the assessment room. This revelation left Yang Yuan stunned, as she grappled with the implications of her encounter with Lu Sheng and his extraordinary abilities. As Lu Sheng bought meat buns on his way home, that's when he noticed a group of people rushing through the area. Several women were discussing the commotion while watching from a distance. They mentioned that the group belonged to the Hong Chan Martial Arts School and were searching for someone door to door. Although he overheard the conversation, Lu Sheng didn't think much of it at the time. Unbeknownst to him, they were actually searching for him, aiming to recruit him for their school. As Lu Sheng finished his last meat bun, his phone rang, displaying the caller ID for Zing Shantang once again. Ignoring the call, he had a rough idea of what they wanted to discuss, collaboration on the muscle and blood-enhancing potion. While he needed funds to support his strength improvement, he had reservations about partnering with them. Lu Sheng had already agreed to meet with them in a week, but he felt there was nothing further to discuss until then. He needed to thoroughly investigate whether Zing Shantang was qualified and worthy of his prescription before making any decisions. He fell asleep. In the dream world, base 1359, Lu Sheng faced the optical brain and calmly instructed to call out his biography. In the next second, a wealth of information appeared before Lu Sheng. The sight of his photo caused his heart to skip a beat, confirming his suspicions. In the photo, the once handsome and resolute middle-aged Lu Sheng had been replaced by an old man with gray hair and high spirits. Name, Lu Sheng. Sex, male. Lifespan, June 297 in Budo, July 383 in Budo Martial Arts Strength, Level 6 Martial Artist Life Experience colon dot 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 became a second level martial artist at the age of 18, causing a sensation in Baihei City. Under the recommendation of the Baihei City Wushu Association, he participated in the talent training camp of Dongning Province and entered the top 20. Graduated from Dongning Wuhan University first place in the city, 32nd in the province, and 145th in the country and served in the military. 
retired as a lieutenant and founded the Holy Martial Arts School in Baihe City, promoted to a sixth-level martial artist at the age of 45, and failed to become a seventh-level grandmaster at 55. Died at the age of 87 due to a strange beast attack in Baihe City. Married with two daughters and one son. This time, Lu Sheng's life history had become much richer, he noted that the historical evaluation of the characters under him had also increased, now two and a half stars. However, his authority remained at level two. He was now sure that the future can be changed. A week ago, he was a fourth-level martial artist at the age of 37. A week later, he successfully lived to be more than 80 years old, and the upper limit of my strength has reached level six. If it hadn't been for an accident, he might have lived longer. The difference between was his improved strength, by which ranks obtained in the college entrance examination are different, the universities entered are different, and the final destiny is completely different. Earlier I graduated from Baihe Wuda, I chose to join the military region. Now I chose to open my own martial arts school after graduating from Dongning Wuda. In the end, I even hoped to become a seventh level master. The current effort is too important, the choice determines the fate, this sentence is not just casually. In addition, Lu Sheng also noticed one point. This biography didn't mention any information related to stellar body refining technique, natural breathing method and crystal conception thought. It seems that the exercises I got in the dream space, as long as I don't choose to expose them, will not be exposed. Will it have any impact on subsequent lives? Turning off the optical brain, Lu Sheng's eyes became extremely firm. Through verification, my idea is correct, destiny can indeed be changed. But if I want to truly change the fate of the human race and leverage the development trajectory of the entire world in the next 10,000 years, my current strength is far from enough. A sixth-level quasi-grandmaster is insignificant, a seventh-level grandmaster, an eighth-level grandmaster, and even a ninth-level martial saint are very difficult to achieve. Perhaps when I reach the height of a 10th level or even 11th level powerhouse in this era, I will have the slightest chance of turning the tide. Even in the next 10,000 years, 11th level martial arts experts will be rare, let alone in the current 300 years of martial arts. The path Lu Sheng desires to pursue is exceedingly challenging. With this, the chapter concludes. Don't miss out on the next installment. Hit that subscribe button and join us for the continuation of Lu Sheng's remarkable story.